What's going on, everybody? Thank you for being here. I'm glad you're here. How was everybody's week? What were y'all up to? What were y'all up to? Oh, ZBrush Life is first. I like it. What's going on, Robert? Reaper John entering the dojo. Carbon! <laughs> Hell yeah, brother. Thanks for being here. We got big announcement today. Make sure, make sure you tell everyone that you know that likes sculpting anatomy, that likes learning about sculptural anatomy, that wants to level up their skills and have a six week live course with Spicer McLeroy at XMD.com, XMDAcademy.com if you're interested in something like that. I don't know if you are. I'm assuming you're an ass kicker because you're here at the dojo. So make sure you tell everyone that wants to be a good sculptor just like you. Let them know. We got a big announcement today that's going to be happening. The event will happen tomorrow. All right. The event is happening tomorrow, so make sure you let everyone know. Reaper John! I love it. I love it. Doing audio production for Logo. That is going to be a good break. And we got spicy. Oh, let's go! Congratulations, Arcosto. Everybody in the dojo, GG to Arcostro. Give him some GGs. Nothing like leveling up your life. Abraham Barrera! Thank you for being here. Son Bioi Juan, or Juan, Juan, Juan. Thank you for being here. Uh, Germain Aurora, thank you for being here. I appreciate you. A ZBrush Life was first, though. He was first. Alrighty. So let us. Oh, you know. We got her a minute. So my weekend was interesting. I saw a UFO. Let's see, when did I, I saw it last night? I was watching UFC and I always let my dogs out like every hour because I would hate to just, you know, be bored laying down for hours and hours at a time. So I always let them out, play the ball with them, all that stuff. And, um, um, and so I go outside and I throw the ball and then I look up to the left where, uh, you know, standing on my back porch and there's this light that looks like a star. Okay. Genesis. It looks like, a, it looks like a star, right? And, um, from as far right as I can see, right from the far right as I can see, I see this star going in a straight, unnatural line across the sky. It goes from as far as right as I can see to the far left as I can see in two seconds. One, two, and then it boop, went up into the sky. And I sat there, I, I stood there and I was just like, did I just see what I, what I saw? And I was just sitting there, I was like, okay, I'm waiting for the sonic boom. Because I live in, you know, in San Antonio and we have a lot of Air Force bases and stuff like that. And so I'm like, um, and I was like, uh, I was like, okay, well, it's a plane or something like that. Or it's, um, it's a drone or something. But there was no sound. There was, it was just a point of light. And it just moved across the sky like that. It was crazy. It was crazy. But anyway, that was my weekend. I hope you had a good weekend. R. Castro, your last video is officially saved in my Tuts folder. Great content and priceless info. Wait, 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 wait. UFO? Yeah, dude. You know, you know about all the planes we see in the sky? Dude, I see planes all the time and every single one I wish it's a UFO. But I always hear that You know, I always hear that that engine or some type of thing that's man-made or an axe man-made. This just went across, boom, went 90 degrees, did not slow down at all. 
It was crazy. It was crazy. All right, let's get over into the dojo. And for that, we must have the correct song. Okay. Boom, boom. Welcome to the ZBO Dojo. Today we got some exciting news! Such great news, and I hope you all stick around for it, okay? Just a little hint, something on the front of my desk. Front of my desk. Okay, just, just, gonna, just gonna leave that out there, okay? All right? But I wanna give y'all a treat today, okay? You know, I made a cartoon plant. Hey, yeah, it was okay, it was fun. You know, it was a nice little, little way to get up in this streaming thing. But what I wanna do today, for all of you, is you choose a part of the body except for the hands and the feet, because you can look at your own hands and your own feet, okay? Any part of the body that you wish to have a sculptural lecture on, you can have it, all right? But we all need it, we need to have at least more than three, all right? So, Ryan's here, Dan's here. I appreciate you, all right, so, what part of the body do you want a sculptural lecture on today? You got biceps, you got triceps, you got shoulders, you got pecs, you got the back, you got uh, the upper leg, the lower leg, the wrist. Uh, Howard Rivera, hello, how are you? Will you have tutorials for beginners for ZBrush on your channel? Uh, no, Mike Pavlovich, go to Mike Pavlovich. Go Mike Pav. He has literally everything that you want. All right. No hands! Look at your own hands. All right, so we've got back. Okay. I can do the back again. Uh, forearms and how it twists. Upper arm. Back would be great. We got two backs. We got three backs. Do we have any others? Any others? Howard, I appreciate you. Appreciate you. Oh. Mm. Damn, I'm gonna look good while y'all decide. What do y'all want? We got the back, the upper arm, and the forearm and how the forearm and how it twists. I'll show you that anyway. All right, so we're gonna do the back. <laughs> Piacon is here. Piacon is a hardworking student of mine at the XMDAcademy.com. Okay. Mr. Samson is back. I appreciate you, brother. I appreciate you. All right, so y'all want the back. We will do the back, okay? All right, so let's see. Boom, 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 where's the back? We're gonna do upper back, because that's more than enough. Um, boom, boom, da, 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 da. Okay. Oh, he said welcome back. Oh, okay. All right, well, we're still going to do the back, so, but we're also going to show how the forearm twists, okay? How it articulates, okay? Now don't get intimidated, I'm just rolling up my sleeve. Okay? All right, so, uh, let me get this ready in ZBrush, ba ba ba. We are going to load up a skeleton. Damn, this is a banger. Hmm. 
Okay, we'll do an eight head male. Eight head male and female is gonna act the same way. I know I'm still at the front desk. I'm just trying to look good, all right? All right, y'all ready? <laughs> now we're in the dojo, all right? So, we are gonna talk about first, first, we're gonna talk about how the wrist articulates, okay? I'm gonna turn this down a little bit, all right? Is Jordu Shell your relative? No, not at all. Alrighty, so I know we have we have lots of Malar fat and buckle fat. I know we both have that. Okay. Alright, so this is the arm, okay? So right here is your humerus. This is everything your bicep, your tricep, your shoulder attaches to your humerus, okay? After that, you're going to have your ulna right here. This is your ulna, so whenever someone gets too close and you do that, you like, step up! Step off! You throwing them bows, right? That's what you're throwing, okay? So right there. Next is your radius. Right here, radius from there. The reason it's called radius is because right here, there's a little radial dial that all of this articulates from, okay? So, everyone listen up! Everyone listen up! Okay, so, all right, don't get intimidated. I'm just gonna show my forearm, all right? All right, so, everybody put your finger right here. This little bone right here that pops out, okay? This is your styloid process of your ulna, okay? If you have it go down, go down, go down, go down, go down, then it's gonna go to your olecranon. Hey, if y'all want a shirt, does anybody want a shirt? I'm gonna quiz you in about five minutes. Five minutes, I'm going to quiz you. And you better know all this stuff if you want a shirt. Okay, so we have the ulna right here. Oh, is it, is it, uh, is it disappearing? Is my ulna too, is it too bright? Yeah, there we go, okay. So, so this is your ulna right here, right? This is your elbow. So right there. So I want you to put your finger right here at your styloid process. Let me get a good, there we go. Get your finger at the styloid process and rotate your hand. Supinate, or this is pronate, supinate, right? So supinate, supinate like a bowl, right? Supinate, supinate, pronate, all right? And you notice that that does not move the entire time, okay? But now what I want you to do is I want you to hold right here above your styloid process. I want you to hold this and try to rotate it, okay? Doesn't move at all, okay? Now we can move, okay? So what we're doing right there is we are holding on to the end of our radius right here, okay? So whenever we articulate this forearm, uh, let me get this. And this, and then uh, if I want to bring everything attached, then I press Control Shift A. I'm going to mask, bring everything back, invert the mask. And now what I want to do is I want to rotate from here, starting from here. What I want to do is I want to use my transpose line. Okay. Reason being is that I can get something in the center of it, right here, and it's just a little bit. It makes me feel better. Okay, so we're gonna bring everything back. And what we need to do is we need to have the anchor point here, right? Our rotation point here, and then our rotation point in between right here, okay? And you just really wanna make sure that's as close as possible. It does not have to be perfect because um, we can always change it around, right? But we roughly want it there, okay? So now whenever we rotate our arm, I'm pressing R on my keyboard, and I'm hovering over the middle uh, white circle, and that's how your wrist is articulating. Okay, so let me uh, zoom out. All right, so that's how your wrist articulates. All right, Genesis, don't say I never did anything for you. Don't say I never did anything for you. 
Okay, so that's how your forearm should rotate. I know you're asking me right now, do you put a skeleton in all of your meshes or something? Yes, I do. I put a skeleton in every single sculpt that I do besides stylized work, of course. All right, I didn't put a skeleton in the plane, okay? Don't get semantic with me, all right? But that's what I do to ensure proportion, to ensure bony landmarks, to ensure that I am not spending a lot of time worrying about if this arm is long enough or that long I'm just working, going, going, working, working, working. Origination, insertion, origination, insertion. Okay. All right. So y'all ready for the back lecture? Are you ready for the back lecture? I, I need I need a hashtag dojo in the chat. If you're ready for probably a 30 to 35 minute back lecture i need hashtag dojo in the chat non-stop go chat go go hashtag dojo put it in the chat all right there's 68 and i have one two three four no, we're gonna need more hashtag dojos. More hashtag dojos, come on. Come on, doesn't take that long to type in hashtag dojo in the chat and show that you are engaged and you appreciate the content that we are giving you. Hashtag dojo in the chat. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm, there we go. There we go. <laughs> GG's everybody, GG's. Keep it coming. Keep it coming. There we go, all right? If any of your friends have problems with sculpting the back, go and bite them right now. Go get them. Grab them by the neck and bring them over here. Go get them. All right, so this is gonna be an unusual ZBrush stream because we are spending most of our time in Photoshop, but it is going to help you sculpturally, all right? One more hashtag dojo in the chat, just one more. One more, Steve Gass, Steve Cass, hashtag dojo in the chat, right now, right now. I need it directly from Steve Cass. Hashtag D-O-J-O -O in the chat, Steve. I appreciate you being here. There we go. There we go. Alrighty, so let's get into. Still waiting on Steve. Still waiting on Steve Cass. Hashtag dojo in the chat, Steve. Maybe he just stopped by. Maybe he just stopped by. Come on, Steve. Steve CAS. Hashtag dojo. Yeah! Woo! <laughs> GG, Steve. Everybody give Steve a GG. Everybody give Steve GG's. GG's. All right. There we go. Okay. So, let us begin. The Lord Epsilon. All right, GG's, GG's. Okay, so let's talk about the back. Is the music too loud? Is it too low? Too loud, too low? Y'all just chilling, y'all just grooving, you vibing? All right, okay. So let's get our handy dandy cyberpunk pink. Well, let's get green. That way y'all can see the difference. Okay. So, low music, low music. Okay, we're gonna turn up just a little bit. Oh, music is fine. Now we're gonna go halfway in between the two. There we go. It's perfect. All right, we're gonna go in between Afix and Steve and we've got it. That is perfection according to the entire group. All right, so first off what we gotta do is we've got to flip this. So let's flip it horizontal. Okay. So 
let's talk about the back, okay? Uh, let's start from the top, okay? So from here, we have our, uh, our traps beginning, right? It's called the external occipital protuberance. <clears throat> what was that? I don't even know what that was. Anyway, so that's the end of your skull back here, right? Oh, someone did something. Song seat. All right. Oh, wait. Okay, okay, okay. Seriously, seriously, okay. Hold on. Big announcement. I got to pause the music for this. I got to pause the music for this. Okay. I got to pause the music because I really want... This is probably the my favorite part about teaching at XMD is that we have scholarships, all right? We have the XMD Scholarship Part 2 coming tomorrow. We're going to be announcing the quests and rules tomorrow on my stream, okay? I'm gonna put this link here in the chat for everybody, okay? Roughly, what you're gonna be doing is you're gonna be making a speed sculpt. You're gonna be turning it into me. And then we're going to take all the entries. We had over 25 last time. Uh, hopefully, with the help of everybody here, we can get hundreds in this time. So we're going to give away a free uh, live class with over hundreds and hundreds of videos like the one I'm about to do for you today. Okay? I really, really want everyone to participate in this because money's tight. You know, um, options are, are, star are on the rise. But it's still a little hard, right? So I know whenever I first started, I would absolutely have loved to have had the chance to take a course like this and have an instructor look directly over my work every single week and make sure that my anatomy is way better than it was the week before. Okay, so that's what this course is all about. So before we get into that, let me show you what you're going to get. Okay, you're gonna get a live course, six weeks. And we're only gonna have three winners. Those three winners every week for six weeks, we're gonna get together, we're gonna go over your piece, we're gonna make sure it's as badass as possible, and then we're gonna level you up, okay? So it's over an $800 course. It's an $800 course that I'm giving away, okay? So, what comes along with this? Uh, you get uh, anatomy lectures like you're about to get on the face, um, the, uh, the body, up and down, left and right, ZBrush, marvelous, we're gonna replace that how to import, export, how to get uh, high class details, how to render, uh, just me talking about the industry, um, actions of a champion. Um, these are, and then all the live sessions that are archived as well, okay? So that's over a hundred hours. Over a hundred hours. Over a hundred hours and a hundred videos for free. Because I believe in the community. I love this community. And I know there's a lot of people out there that really, really, really want to get good and just don't have the opportunity. So I am going to provide you with that opportunity. And XMD is going to do that because we love art. We love helping people. We love seeing, just like, seeing a student that had no clue at all how to sculpt a face and at the end of the six weeks they've leveled up everywhere is the greatest reward I could possibly have, okay? So I really, really want everyone here to participate in it. Please tell your friends. Okay, because, you know, like, if you know anyone that's struggling and they really want to level up, let them know about this contest. Okay, please, I am begging you to let them know about this contest. Okay. So, that's uh, going to be happening tomorrow. 
We're gonna be announcing the rules and regulations tomorrow, the quests and rules. Go here, follow me on Twitch. We're gonna go live. 8.30 p.m. Central Standard Time at ShotgunScream.com. No, you do not have to be good. In fact, I prefer, I don't prefer, but I love seeing someone who's not good and then they take that huge step and they've got confidence and they've got hope and they're ready to go. Okay. So if you're interested in that, let people know. How would you know somebody speed sculpted on the spot and didn't send you an old sculpt? Um, it's called, well, I just assume the best of people. I don't assume the worst of people. And if they do do that and they come into the class, then most likely I'll be able to tell because if they're willing to cheat, they're not willing to do the work. And it just cascades down from there. I don't want to go into all the details, okay? So yeah, if you're a beginner, intermediate, this course is going to change your life. That is quotes from students changed my life okay so let's get back all right let's get back <laughs> all right so you know what i'm feeling frisky i'm looking good in this shirt i know y'all want to look good in this shirt so if you can give me the medical name it's at 8.30 p.m. Central Standard Time. Steve! All right. If you want to look this good in this shirt, I need. All right. Get ready to type it down because it's going to the first one. Siaman, what's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? All right, Mr. Sanson, it's good for you, too. It's good for you, too. All right. So you need to give me the medical name. of this right here. What is this? What is this? It needs to be spelled correctly. What is this? And you get a free. This packs on 20 pounds of muscle and takes away 30 pounds of fat immediately. All right? So if you want this shirt, what is the medical name for this bony landmark right here? I'm gonna give you five. Four, three, two, one. And that's it. It's called the styloid process of the ulna. Of the ulna. Little oddity, you would have had half of it. You would have had half of it. Now this is a radialis. This is the ulna. Were y'all paying attention? Okay, so. Where's my pen? There it is. Okay, so let's get to this. All right. This is the ox external occipital protuberance, the end of your skull. Okay. That's one place that your traps attach to. Okay. One place. Okay, so your traps begin here. They come down, and excuse my horrible line work, and they attach to the acromion process the spine of the scapula and then they finish at the 12th thoracic vertebra okay so that's how far down they go i see lots of people doing it super short or i see them it, it's just like ends all over the place all right so just be careful ends at the last thoracic vertebra so that's another reason that i use a skeleton in all of my sculpts right because i'm just like, blah, 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 blah. just put it in there okay so after that, we need the, uh, I call this the spearhead of aponeurosis here, okay? And it's going to be widest, roughly right above, ooh, geez, my penmanship's sucking. Right above the seventh cervical vertebra right here, okay? So this is a bony landmark. No matter how muscular you are, let me turn this down. No matter how muscular you are, this bony landmark will always show. That's what bony landmarks are about. No matter how bulky you are, these bony landmarks will show, OK? 
okay? And that's what makes them even more bulkier because like normal people, everything levels off into the bony landmark. But people that are super, you know, like the Hulk, they dive into the bony landmark, okay? And that's, and it's, you know, someone who's super huge, you know, it's just a couple inches here, just maybe one inch uh, bigger, but it's a, uh, uh, it's a perception of it diving down into these bony landmarks that make it look way larger than the normal person. Uh, that's what we're going to give you deeper effect tomorrow. We are not going to announce that here. You got to go shotgunscream.com. Make sure you follow. Uh, we're going to start at 8.30 p.m. Central Standard Time, and we will let you know everything about it. Okay? All righty. So... After that, we have the lats, okay? The lats insert into your um, your armpit, okay? And they come down and then they attach at the um, posterior iliac spine right here, okay? So they insert right there. So whenever we see red, that means form. Whenever we see white, that means it's conforming to form, right? Or neutralizing itself, okay? so. Here, if we're super bulky or super defined, this welcome is where. To the CPO dojo. Welcome, welcome. Um, and so uh, this is where all the muscles gonna be. Okay. Next is gonna be your infraspinatus right here. This is at a flat part of your uh, spine, or I'm sorry, of your scapula. Okay, it goes up into your shoulder, right here, and it's generally represented with a flat angle. Okay. Next is the Terrace Major. This is like the, uh, it's a hero muscle of the back. So if you don't have the Terrace Major. Shame on you. Okay. And we'll talk about where that attaches and goes to. But this is just more of an overview. Okay. So uh, I believe that's all we're going to be going over during this. Okay. So. Uh, let's talk about what's underneath the lat, okay? So what we have is we have the spine of the scapula, the blade of the scapula, and at the end of it, it's going to go up this rhomboid, okay, rhomboid minor and major, but we're just gonna call it the rhomboids, okay? And it goes uh, up to seven, down to 11, and then comes back, okay? So whenever you retract your back, right, you do that, that's flexing. Right. Uh, 8 p.m. Central Standard, Mr. Sanson. All right. And uh, then we'll talk about the serratus anterior uh, when we get there, okay? Don't want to confuse. Don't want to confuse. Okay, so this is uh, some real life, okay? So we have the spearhead of aponeurosis. We've got the seven cervical vertebra. We've got the acromion process, blade of the scapula, spine of the scapula, infraspinatus, Terrace major, okay. Uh, the um, lat ending at the 12th cervical vertebra, and then she's also got her rhomboids activated because she's contracting her back, right? And then the lats come down and over, okay. And then right here is the serratus muscles. Okay. All right, so. Uh, like I was telling you, you know, uh, the difference between muscular people and normal people is that muscular people have things diving into their bony landmarks and normal people have neutrality or leveling off into the bony landmark. Okay, so this is Christian Bale. I'm bad. All right. And you can see that his trap is leveling off into the spine of the scapula. Okay, acromion process, infraspinatus, okay, rhomboids, but he's got that over, right? And you can see the rib cage here, okay? You notice that the lats and the traps aren't making this huge muscular thing, right? All right, so this is the opposite, Ronnie Coleman, Texas native, okay? And as you can see, look how muscular this guy is. Landmark, 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 spine, landmark, okay? All these bony landmarks you really, really need to understand, okay? You need to, um, you need to, uh, 
understand where they are, why they're there, and all that other stuff, okay? Traps coming from the end of the occipital protuberance and diving down into there. Then we've got the spine of the scapula, the blade of the scapula, the infraspinatus of the scapula, right? It's gonna be underneath there. And then we've got the teres major right there. Here we've got that crescent of muscle we were talking about for the lat, and then it becomes aponeurosis and is uh, reacting to the lumbars here, okay? And then we've got this right here, which is going to be your serratus muscles, which we will talk about in just a second. Okay. All right. So Heath, Le what was it? Not Heath Ledger. It's Heath, Phil Heath, Phil Heath. Okay. Occipital protuberance, traps, leveling off or diving down into the acromion process, spine of the scapula, blade of the scapula, Terrace major, infraspinatus, and then the uh, rear delt going over, right? Traps coming down. You can see that where the spine of the scapula is going to be or the end of it by this little hook right here. Okay, and then it's going to come down and on the 12th cervical vertebra, uh, vertebra. And then you still got that bony landmark, Spear of Aponeurosis. Um, he's... Uh, Pulling it out, so we're going to have a little fascia here, and then we're going to have our lats and our serratus. They're both being flexed at this position and brought forward, so they're really not going to show a huge difference. All right, so Terrence Major, listen, listen. If you don't know about this muscle and you don't sculpt it right, I am going to point at you when I see you on my monitor, and you want that. All right, Terrace Major. Okay, Terrace Major. All right, well, all right, hey, hey. I haven't seen anybody say nothing in this chat. Thank you, comics. I appreciate you. But that's it. Are y'all? Are y'all enjoying? Are you learning anything? There's like no. What was? Balandar the Red, watch out for him. Uh, yes, Deeper Effect, I am always this hype. Always this hype. All right, Balandar, I will not, I will not. Mr. The Walk of Shame, if we don't sculpt it right, that's right! Apex, you better be learning! Genesis, that's what I'm talking about, people, keep it going. Keep it going. I need your energy. I need your energy, right? It's reciprocal. It's reciprocal. Give it back. All right. Okay, so we got the acromion process up here. We got the spine of the scapula, the blade of the scapula, okay? And this is where the terrace major is originating from. And it's going into basically your armpit right here, okay? Alrighty, so let's just go over it again because some people just came here. Okay, so occipital protuberance, terrace major, or I'm sorry, tra traps, chromium process, spine of scapula, blade of scapula, terrace major, look, look. Look how it influences the lat, okay? Right there, and then the latissimus dorsi coming down and attaching to our posterior iliac spine. Posterior meaning back. Iliac meaning the hip. Spine meaning this ridge, okay? All right, so traps, where do they end, chat? Where do the traps end, chat? If you've been taking notes, you should know. Where does the trap end? Where does it end? Damn right, Genesis, damn right. The 12th, thank you. 
Uh, number seven, I'm just gonna call you that because I'm gonna say something else accidentally. Mr. Sanson, comics legend, I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you're here. Okay. So, uh, another muscle that's attached to your scapula right here is your levator scapula, scapulae, scapula. Okay. Right here, and that's that little neck muscle. So whenever everybody shrug your shoulders and put your put it right there, and you're gonna feel that muscle right there activate. Okay. It's T12. T12. Cervical is neck. T is a thoracic, and L is lumbar. God dang it, Kings! You know I love you. You know, I love you. All right. Next, rhomboid minor. Boom, boom, boom. Seven and eight. Okay. Rhomboid major. Nine, ten, eleven. Okay. So. Uh, if you don't like dissection, I'm sorry. If you don't like dissection, I'm sorry. All right. Chromium process. Spine of scapula. Blade of scapula. End of scapula. Beginning of terrace major. Going into the armpit. Infraspinatus, very, very flat. Ba, 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 ba. Okay, real quick, real quick. All right, so right here. Spine of scapula, or uh, spear of aponeurosis. Seven cervical vertebra, occipital protuberance. Traps, ending in the acromion process. Spine of scapula, or yeah, blade of scapula. And I know where it ends, because I see this terrace major right here. And where does it attach? At the end of the scapula! <sighs> I get really, really excited. Okay, rhomboid, or no, no, that's your lats ending, 12 cervical vertebra. Lat, or yeah, uh, traps right here. Traps, I keep mixing those up, traps, okay? Uh, you're gonna have your, um, serratus muscles right here, your latissimus dorsi ending at the inferior iliac spine, you've got the sacrum, uh, and you remember that little crescent of muscle for the lat. And then you can see aponeurosis does not create form. All right, serratus! Okay, it attaches from one to nine. Okay, it attaches to every one. The ones that we see are right here. They pretty much happen after the third rib. So we've got an arm all like that. This is gonna be the first one you see. Okay, and then bam, attach to the rib, 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 to the rib. Okay. So where do they originate from? They originate from the middle and inside of the scapula here. Okay, so it's on the inside and you notice that it's not going off into the lats. Okay, it's not going off into the shoulders. It is wrapping around, wrapping around the rib cage like, like a hand. Okay. So a little bit closer, right? Inside, right here, boom, 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 okay? That's where this is all attaching. Here's your chromium process over here, and that's the inside. So if we rip that apart, you can see it's attaching from one to nine. Right, let's see, 12, 11, 10, nine, should be here. All right, right there. All right. Boom, 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 okay? And your pec is going to be uh, one, two, three, four, five. So your pec is going to be right here. Okay. So these are the ones that we're really seeing. And you can see that it's not going to really end anywhere until we get to the uh, six, seven, eight, and nine. Okay. So usually these are the ones that you're seeing. Alrighty. So Dillashaw. Okay. We've got the uh, chromium, or I'm sorry, the terrace major going oh, right into there. We've got the lat coming in and going behind. We've got the uh, lat right here as well. And then we've got the serratus muzzle, six, seven, eight, and nine. Okay. Henry Cejudo, C3. 
Again, very fit individual. And Bruce Buffer is pointing directly at the Terrace Major. Okay, and then we have Lat. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, and then six, seven, or see, that's seven, eight, nine. Yeah. Okay. Again, now this is where it looks like it's going off into the rib cage, but it's not. This is just skin reacting, right? Stretching, doing this. Okay, but it's not going around. You can see he spent a lot of time making his serratus muscles. But you can see they're not going up into the armpit. I see this a lot. I see serratus muscles doing this. Okay. Serratus muscles, what do they do? They wrap around the rib cage. They wrap around the rib cage. Okay. Love the serratus. I appreciate that. That's one that's one of my favorite muscles. All right, number seven, one to nine ribs. Mr. Santa paying attention. Sumerian King, back again. We're gonna have to make you a dojo member pretty soon, brother. Charlie Barta, who's in the dough? Yo. Love from India. India, love you right back. Love you right back. Apollo, sir, yes, sir. Genesis Collectibles Art, wrap it! All right, so you can see this is going to be our rib cage here, right? Coming there, coming around, like right around here, 90 degrees, somewhere around there. Okay, it's somewhere around there. And you can see the serratus muscles are going back into, right? They're wrapping around the rib cage. Wrapping around the rib cage. Welcome. Midnight Spirit, I appreciate you. Appreciate you, okay? All right. All right, so this is Jessica Williams Fit. Um, she, this is one of her posing techniques. We're gonna look at the back um, smushed together and then we're gonna look at it extended out, okay? So even though we have everything contracted together, seven cervical vertebra. No matter how buff you are, a chromium process, spine of scapula, blade of scapula, terrace major going into the armpit, infraspinatus, boom, 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 boom. Okay, lats coming over, ending on the 12th thoracic vertebra, 12th thoracic vertebra. Okay, and look at this crescent of muscle going down and ending at the posterior iliac spine. Does the rib cage expand when someone becomes a bodybuilder? I'm not sure about that. I'm not sure about that. Okay. Uh, and then the uh, deltoid goes over. Okay. And then she's got her rhomboids uh, activated underneath here as well. Okay. All right. Let's see. Jessica Williams fit. Okay, so now she's got it up. Okay. So, we've got the uh, seven cervical vertebra, occipital protuberance, trapezius coming down into the uh, chromium process, spine of scapula, blade of scapula. All right. We've got the uh, traps coming down, going around the spine of the scapula and ending on the 12th cervical vertebra. And then we're going to have our rhomboids and you can see our lat and terrace major right here because one influences the other. And then the crescent of muscle for the lat and then the aponeurosis, okay? Uh, let's see. Do, 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 do. Okay. Boom. All right, so two more. All right, Callum Von Mager, Chromium Process. No matter how buff you are, no matter how buff you are, bony landmarks. Frederick Lim. Pew, pew. Pew, 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 pew. Okay. 
Chromium Process, Spine of Scapula, Blade of Scapula, Terrace Major, the uh, Triceps going behind that. Then you've got the Lat coming down and attaching to the um, posterior iliac spine. Okay. Everything's being stretched. Occipital protuberance. Seven cervical vertebra. Spearhead of aponeurosis. Lat ending on the 12th cervical vertebra. His lat is being stretched across his ribs, so it's not going to be that large or that buff like it will be on this one where it's going to have much more form to it. You can see you're going to have striations here because it's being contracted, right? This one does not. Okay. All right. And last one. Okay, so this one. This is a uh, ba 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 terrace major lat, and it's going around here. Look, watch, look at this. Oops, that's your serratus coming forward, right here, and then this is your oblique, and then there's your serratus muscle, nine, eight, seven, six, and then your lat is going to be in the background okay all right anybody learn anything did anybody learn anything anything new anything new at all did anybody apollo Tear off binding? Yeah, kinda. What do you mean, kinda? What is kinda? What does that mean? Rain, Rond? A lot. Frederick Lynn, no abdot? I think I might have. I'm waiting for my brain to catch up. Samirian King, I appreciate that. Barta! Lat moves, serratus don't. There you go. Comics legend, I appreciate ya. Ronnie Coleman, Texas native. All right, all righty. Okay, okay. All righty. So if you want more of that, if you want hundreds and hundreds of hours of that and a six week live course with me to create a collectible that is probably gonna be the best looking collectible you've ever created in your life. I'm giving away a free $800 scholarship. Go to xmdacademy.com and go to XMD Scholarship and make sure you have this page saved because this is where we're going to be announcing winners. We're going to be changing things, okay? So make sure you're here. I'm going to put it in the chat. We're going to announce the rules for the scholarship tomorrow 8 30 p.m at shotgunscream.com all right again for those because a lot of people have showed up since we started over 40 people have showed up since we started so you're gonna get a free 800 dollar course you're gonna have over a hundred videos a hundred hours i'm gonna teach you everything about the face about um there's someone who's serious about their career there's someone who's serious about leveling themselves up look there's one more there's another one is there gonna be any more anybody else serious about being a good character artist all right so i'm gonna teach you about posing z mauler quick armor generation quick clothing generation okay then we're going to go over the upper body. We're going to go over the deltoid. We're going to go over the pectoralis, the abs, the upper back. All right, the lower back, bicep, tricep, bicep, tricep, forearm, upper leg, lower leg, neck, hand, feet. And then I'm going to show you how I use the skeleton and put all that stuff together. We got one. So all, only four people out of 100 are serious about it. All right. 
Then I'm gonna teach you more about ZBrush. All this stuff, nano mesh, ray mesh, all this good stuff. I'm gonna update this with all the clothing from ZBrush because we're gonna take Marvelous Designer out of there. Uh, import, export, how to get it back and forth out of substance, all that good stuff. How to sculpt hair, how to sculpt skin details, rapid prototype keying, how to render your character, and then just more and more and more and more and more and more. Over a hundred videos, over a hundred hours of character creation for collectible tutorials. Welcome to the ZBO. Koshi Tomas, I like your style. Okay. And I guarantee, I give you a personal guarantee. If you're there and you watch those videos and you're there every single week without excuse, I will level you up personally guaranteed. Personal guarantee from the spicy sensei. Look, I'm not deviating. My eyes aren't looking. I'm not blinking. I'm serious. All right, so make sure you go there. XMD scholarship, all this good stuff, okay? All righty. So, do y'all wanna see how I, see how much time do we have? Yeah, we got an hour. You wanna see how I use the skeleton to sculpt the back? Maybe we can get into the torso. I'll go really, really fast, so it'll be kind of sketchy. Devin God. That's what I like. That's what I like. All right. All righty. All right, so I appreciate all the follows. We have over 100 people here. Most of you are new. And you um, really, 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 really you really should follow the Twitch channel. Just saying. Lots more than just scholarships go on there. Okay. All right. So let's start from a sphere. So I'm going to um, use a sphere. Okay. Uh, where is it? Where is the sphere? Okay. So we're going to press Y again so we can go back to our gizmo. Go here. Let's thin it up. Let's get uh, so I use transparency a lot. Woo. Okay, so boom. To the CBO. That's what I'm talking about, Brazen. Look, look, look. Brazen, Devin God, Koshi Thomas, Beast Seven, Beanlight Games, Apollo Belvedere, Psycho Silver. Midnight Spirit, Salemo, Koshik09, Sculpting Gamer, XBingC, and he Nepet, Songsit, Li Lao Athana Thank you for following the dojo. Frederick Lin. All right, so. Let's get it. And uh, Fred, I'm gonna meet with you this week. You know what I'm gonna meet with you about. Okay. We're gonna get you on the calendar, Fred. If you don't know who Fred is, Fred is probably the best kept secret in all of Look Dev. Okay? So just, you know, don't ask him where his art station is. Don't ask how to follow his amazing photography and lighting work. Don't ask him. Don't ask him that, okay? All right, so uh, we're gonna turn on um, symmetry by pressing X. It's gonna work this time, okay? We're gonna go all the way to the occipital protuberance, okay? And it's going to go along with our neck, okay? Then we're going to get our seven cervical vertebra. It's pretty easy to get because it's the one that is attached to the rib first. So we just take that down because it's a bony landmark, okay? 
Next thing we're gonna do is we are going to uh, get the neck and make sure we do have one. I see a lot of traps coming from the occipital protuberance. Make sure it comes down the neck and then flares out. Nice to meet you too, Mr. Sanson. Oh, okay. Bye, Noid! Okay. Alrighty, so, uh, so we're gonna bring this up here. We'll get to the chest if we can. Uh, so I'm gonna bring this together. Do, do, do. Okay. Uh, Redynamesh. Bring this back, bring it back, bring it back. Okay. Uh, okay, so what I want to do first is I wanna wrap this around the rib cage. Okay, so wrapping it around the rib cage, all the way around. Okay, after especially after the fifth rib. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, right here. So that's going to be our chest, right there, and then there's going to be our deltoid right there. We're going to bring this over, bring it over, make sure it's wrapping around the rib cage. It wraps around the rib cage. Alrighty. Okay, and then we're gonna make sure this is all to the bone. Why? Bony landmarks! Jesus, guys. Come on. Alright. Uh, I know I'm spending way more time on the front than the back. But that's okay. Alright, so, uh, next thing I'm gonna do is start attaching. Uh, let's bring all that down. Okay. So now I'm gonna start attaching my trap. Okay. So here. Uh, we're gonna go here. It's gonna attach along all right there. It's gonna come down. It's gonna attach to our chromium process, the spine of the scapula, blade of the scapula. We're gonna make sure that's what? A bony landmark. So we gotta make sure that we have it or our sculptures look amateur. Sorry, I just get really, really passionate, okay? I want y'all to be better every day. And that's one of the things that's gonna happen on this stream. Every single time we are going to level you up on this stream, okay? Pixel Logic has given so much to me, the whole community has given so much to me, and I'm gonna pay it back. Tenfold! And what's what what is the spine? A bony landmark. Make sure you know them. Okay. All right. So we're gonna have the trap come over. It's gonna have this little hook right there, and then it's gonna come down. We want to make sure it's not too bulky. Okay. We want to make sure. I'm just gonna do normal size. I'm not gonna do uh, super testosterone, man. Okay. So let's go around, it's gonna go to our last thoracic vertebra, which is right there. Boom. Now you can see why I'm always getting anatomy work done so quickly. Because there's no reason at all, especially if you're trying to make lots of money, real quick, there's no reason for you to be sculpting from a sphere every single time. If you wanna do it for practice, that's fine, all right? But for me, I want to get my projects out as soon as possible and making sure that they look amazing. Mm. So I use a skeleton and it saves me days and days of time. Okay. So the, um, uh, what you call it? The Terrace Major. And then we're going to have the lat. And since we are wrapped around the rib cage, whenever we go down into the anterior superior iliac spine right here, and uh, attach that, okay. Um, and let me get all this. All right. Uh, do you think there is such a thing as cheating in art production? Uh, only if you steal someone else's work and say it's yours. If you grab someone else's mesh and be like, yeah, I made this. 
I consider that stealing. I consider that cheating. Other than that, no one cares. No one cares how you got it done. It's just got to look good. And it's got to be done on time. And that's all they care about. If they cared about your process and how you got to that point, they would ask you to record it. Okay. So just get the job done. Get it done quick. And get paid. Make more money. Buy more mentorships. Not just from me. Uh, no, 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 no. Okay? Have multiple mentors in your life. Financial, artistic, spiritual, etc., etc. Me, I try to find um, like a art production mentor every year. Someone, someone's work that I love. Someone's um, uh, someone's style that I like. I ask them, hey, can you give me a mentorship? Usually it's a no because, you know, they don't, a lot of people don't, uh, a lot of people sculpt or create art and there's lots of people, um, they're really good, but they don't know how to teach it. And I totally understand that and get that because teaching is like, uh, there, there's some people that don't even know like why their art looks so cool, but they can do it instinctively, right? So it's a hard balance to find like good instructors and good artists. Usually they're just one or the other. Me, I'm just okay with both. All right, so here uh, we're going to bring that lat over. We're gonna have that crescent. We're gonna have our lats, or I'm sorry, our lumbars going up each side, uh, both sides of our spine, and then dissipating as we get all the way up to the neck. Let's get this oblique here. Boom. All right, it's gonna attach all right there. We're gonna bring the abs down to the pubic synthesis. Here, that. Um, uh, we're gonna have our lumbars go all the way down to our um, tailbone right here. Our sacrum. Um, and do, do you, all right. And so you're also going to have this form shift right here for the serratus muscles, right? So nine to 10, or uh, was it one to one to nine, right? So uh, for 10, nine, okay. So it's going to pretty much follow the nipple, right? So right here, and then it's gonna go around. And then we're going to have the lat. And that's going to give you a little bit more complexity for your back. Instead of just having a very flat one. Like, um, you can see that it's kind of rolling around the back, right? Or rolling around the ribcage. And right here, you can really have that nice, uh, nice complexity right here. Just that slight form shift where the serratus is influencing uh, the, um, the lats. Okay. Uh, let's see. Let's fix this neck and bring it all the way forward. Alrighty. Uh, I took his class on XMD. Every week he works with you and levels you up. So worth it. Thank you, Ryan. Thank you. I appreciate that, brother. Uh, let's see. Uh, what does a mentorship look like for you? Uh, Piecon took it, Ryan uh, took it, um, and basically what we do, or what I do, is I get an interview with you. So we sit down, we look over your portfolio, talk to you, see where you are confidence-wise, skill-wise, technique-wise, knowledge-wise, and then we start from there, right? So. Um, 
so we have like an interview, a small little 15 minute interview, and then every week we meet and we sit one-on-one -on -one for an hour and talk about your sculpt or if you wanna know about the business or if you just you know wanna chat about something else or you're looking for uh, uh, like a lot of artists. And I was looking for it too at one point. And when I got it after that, I was done, right? But just some hope, some acknowledgement from an instructor like, hey bro, you're, you're way better than you think you are, okay? Or you're not far away from getting very, very close to where you need to be, right? Either situation, we're gonna level you up. Doesn't matter if you're just starting. Like, I prefer that everybody knows how to use ZBrush. Like, I don't have to teach you how to mask or anything like that. Uh, beginner level uh, and up is kind of like where I want that to be. Fellow Nocturnal Resident UK! What's going on, brother? Alrighty, so we can get this occipital protuberance, right? It's going to attach right there. Okay. And then the, uh, I hope that answers your question. Julie's art! Julie's art is here, everybody. Julie's art. If you saw Bill and Ted's latest movie, then you saw Julie's work. Okay? The the android dude. Julie's art. Okay? I hear she did absolutely everything by herself in one day. The whole suit was done in one day. And she did it all. Like, people were trying to help her and she just threw him away. She, like, picked him up. Threw him across the workshop. And was like, hey, I got this. And do 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 by the end of the day. That's the story I heard. That's the story I heard. All right. Well, that's the story I'm making up and I'm gonna spread around. I'm gonna create a rumor. All right. Uh, I mean, when someone mentors you, like, do you usually compensate an industry professional? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Usually I, I just ask them how much they want and yeah. Usually the ones that are willing to do mentorships, uh, you know, advertise that type of thing. But, um, but yeah, it's always good to just make friends, you know? Uh, let's see, thanks for the show. No, incredible, Julie Zarr. Julie Zarr, did she work with Steve Wang? Yep. Yeah. yeah. Yep, 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 yep. She's amazing. Okay, so. Uh, so we're gonna get the, um, whatchamacallit? The uh sternocleidomastoid and that's coming from this bone right here right sternomitoclastoid right there okay um and then it's going to let's see if we can get this down there we go and this uh um blah, blah, blah. sternocleidomastoid i don't know why i always forget that one that was the hardest one for me to remember but uh, this one goes down into the head of your sternum, not your clavicle, okay? So it ends here, right there, okay? And it's very thin by the time it gets there, so you don't wanna make it you know, super, super large or anything. But that's where that is ending, okay? Boom, boom, right there, okay? Halfway, oop, uh, halfway down the sternocleidomastoid, we're gonna go off and we're gonna attach that right here. This is gonna create that little fascia that we have here, okay? And then we're gonna complete that fascia. I'm gonna go down to the clavicle, roll it over, right here, boom, boom, boom. And we're going to bring this forward, okay? and it's going to attach to the front of our clavicle. All right, just get that all the way down. Okay, boom, boom, boom. Let me make sure I'm still on the free music. Yeah, I'm still on the free music.
Uh, I've never used ZBrush before. I've had to play on the demo version of Sculptures once. Never watched you before, but I'm enjoying myself. Thank you very much, Slippery Delight. Mr. Sanson, uh, this is looking great, Spicer. Thank you, Julie. You're too kind. You're too kind. Okay. So uh, let's talk about the packs. Well, let's let's block in these arms real quick. Okay. So B and B. Uh, well, what I'm gonna do is just mask this in. I'll give you all a really quick, really short. Um, bah, bah. We're gonna bring that down right about there. Bring it right about there. All right, so we're gonna get the deltoid right here. Bring that down. It's not gonna go over the chromium process. Okay, bony landmarks! Dynamesh. All right, let's inflate this. Boo oh! There we go. All right, let's get that. Da, 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 da. Okay, let's bring this up. Right around there, widen it out. Do, do, do. Okay, so let's, uh, let's kind of block. Welcome. Whoa. To the CPO. Oh. Don't, don't. Psycho Silver, you make it look easy. That's because it is, brother. Aussie Healer. Appreciate you. Anatomy is the same thing over and over again, bro. Same thing over and 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 over again. Right? So after a while, it's just muscle memory. After a while, it's nothing impressive. Wait, 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 yeah, it is. Yeah, it is it's super impressive. It's so impressive. It's probably so impressed right now. I'm impressed myself. All right. Right here, we're going to have our lateral head right here ending at halfway down the humerus. Okay. So, boom, like that. And usually, I don't like ecrocheting immediately. I like getting the... Uh, the overall form of everything. So I'm just gonna use a move brush for a second. Okay, so we're gonna go here. We're going to press Control W and that's gonna make it a new poly group. And then we're just gonna isolate the arms. Ooh, woo, okay. Um, and actually what I'm gonna do is, we're just gonna work on one arm. It's gonna be a whole lot easier. Okay. And then we'll just mirror and weld it. So here's bicep. We're gonna have that go down in there. We're gonna go. What is this? The Olacronin. You answer too slow. You answer too slow. Okay. This is gonna be our tricep going down. Long head, short head, ending up there on the top of the humerus. Um, let's grab this. Boom! 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 Right here, rotate it. R rotate it. Okay. And boom, 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 boom. And so, where there is muscle, there is form. Where there is tendon, there is hard surface elements. What are you talking about? Okay, dude, chill out. Have a little patience with me, okay? So, here in the wrist. And, and wait. I want to say, I want to say, Nightbot, that you haven't been banning anybody today, and you've been doing really, really well, making sure everybody feels at home. Okay, Nightbot. Last stream, you really censored a lot of people. We had to talk about that, and you've been acting a whole lot better. So I'm going to feed you some USBs because you've been so good. And yes, I'm going to put the code that you like on there. Okay. So just keep up the good work and maybe you'll get, I don't know, maybe an extra USB drive. All right, Nightbot, keep it up. All right. Hey, Spicer, do you usually use a base skeleton when you sculpt something like all the time, all the time? As I was telling everybody, you use it because it saves you hours and hours of guesswork and all this and all that. and. Does the arm, is it this long? Does it, you know, all that stuff. Just get it all out of the way. Get it all out of the way. There's no reason. We're in production, not in, I don't know. 
At first, I was like, oh, is this cheating? But I was like, no, this is, they've been doing this for hundreds of years. This is like, this is uh, not a new technique. It's just um, being used digitally. But yeah, I hate guessing. It makes me so nervous. And so that's kind of like why I use this. Makes me feel, you know, like I can just walk through here. Okay, there it is, you know? There's the tricep, there's the aponeurosis. It's gonna go in there. I've already got most of my arm blocked out and it's only been like two, three minutes, right? So uh, you can pay me 10% uh, of your salary for, you know, giving you this information. I'll send you a contract in a little bit, and uh, it was good working with you, okay? Julie's art, thank you, thank you. Brody 3D, I just use the brush that makes everything with a single click. Computers, Brody, make sure to go follow the Broadster. Brody 3D, one of the coolest people I met at ZBrush Live, or ZBrush Summit, and he, he's got a kick-ass, do you still have your kick-ass beard, Brody? And he looks really good in some sunglasses too, so. <laughs> Make sure to go follow Brody3D, Instagram, Facebook. Do you have a Twitch, Brody? But he's also got, yeah, ArtStation, Instagram, Brody3D. Make sure you go follow him. Same with Julie's art. Better, better go follow her. Told you I was gonna point at you. All right. So we got boom, boom, right there. We've got this right here. I'm sorry, I'm gonna turn this off. I know it bothers people. Um, right there, we're gonna have the end of the bicep right here. Are you going to Lightbox Expo? Uh, no. Like, I'm a very... Like, I, I think about like, oh man, oh yeah, I'll fly over here, I'll fly over there, and I'll go to this convention, and then I'm like, mm, I'd rather just chill with my dogs. You know, <laughs> I'd rather just see her watch UFC, eat some pizza, just do that. But I really do need to get out to conventions and really shake hands because I really love meeting everybody. Uh, like, uh, if you've never been to the ZBrush Summit, if you've never been to the ZBrush Summit, you need to go. It is like. This this obviously this is a personal experience and I really like like I'm not saying that this is definitely going to happen to you. But when I went there and I met all of my heroes and all the people that I looked up to, they were so kind and so nice. And it was it's it's like it's not shocking, but it's very comforting in an exciting way. I don't know I don't know how to I don't know how else to to put that, right? But just meeting him and being like, wow, you actually understand what I'm going through. You actually, yeah, it's extremely humbling. Absolutely. Um, you know, it's like, wow, you understand what I'm talking about, you know? Because most of us walk around and we can't talk to anybody about ZBrush, like person to person, you know? Like we're very, like, if you're outside of the major cities that have ZBrush, you know, like, California, you know, like all the movie stuff and you know, all, where all the studios are. It is so hard to find someone that's like, oh yeah, I use ZBrush. You're like, what? What's that? You know, and it's just, and when you walk there and you're like, oh man, I love the way you render, blah, blah, blah. I love the way that you texture things. Oh, you know, and just like telling them, they're like, yeah, man, you know, I've seen your work too. I love your work, it's so exciting. Oh, and you're just like, and you're just blown away. Blown away. I was blown away by James Kane's height. That was just a physical thing. It wasn't even like something I experienced, you know? But, uh, cause like I'm the tallest person I know. And then to look up to James Kane, I was like, and I already do look up to James Kane metaphorically. And now it was physically, it was just poignant, right? Yeah, Midnight Spirit, I felt very comfortable at the summit. Yeah, 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 for sure, for sure. We are lucky we got internet and we can rewatch those movies again. Otherwise, we'd be very sad. Yeah, shared passion. Exactly. Exactly. That's what I'm looking for. Man, I wish. I wish I was eloquent. <laughs> Would love to fly there. One, dude. It is worth every single penny and dollar. 
Every single one. Every single one. Yeah. But yeah, if you haven't been to the summit, hopefully we, we have one this year. If not, hopefully we'll have it next year. Uh, but yeah, I'm... Uh, like, as soon as they announce it, I'm definitely going to do that. I'm definitely going to go again. Um, yeah. It's just exhilarating. It's like, absolutely exhilarating. Side of the radius right here, roughly, but it's tendon by that point, so it's really not going to be visible. Your, um, your flexor muscles right here, they need to originate from this, uh, epicondyle right here. Okay? So that's your, the epicondyle, medial epicondyle of the humerus, right? Which is going to give you this jaunt here, which is what? What is it? What have we been saying this whole time? A bony landmark! So make sure you know where they are. Oh, Julie's art, yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, I just wish, it, oh. It was just great. It was, there was way too many wonderful people to hang out with and not enough time. All right, and then you have this muscle. I always forget what this muscle is. I call it the Econius muscle, but I know that's wrong. All right, but uh, from here, we all of these flexors are originating, right? So flexors are originating, and you're going to bring this mesh straight down to the bone, right? Because whenever we run from the styloid process to the ulna, it's pretty much bone, but right here in the halfway point, that's where our flexors and our extensors kind of go over it, right? So that's roughly right around here. So your flexors will go around right there, okay? And then your um, brachial radialis is gonna come up from somewhere up here and then come down and over. And then what we need to do is uh, these, everything has to deal with opening your hand is called your extensor muscles. And those are originating from here, from this radial, um, this radius right here, okay? So it's going there and there. And then it's gonna go straight down the forearm, right? Or straight down the back of your uh, wrist right here. And then it's gonna attach to every single one of your fingers, right? So don't, don't get intimidated. I know I'm extremely buff and obviously look highly deadly, okay? But there's a screen between us, you're safe, okay? So, what was this in? All right, so um, if you put your fingers right here, put your fingers right here, and then wiggle your fingers, and you're gonna feel all those activating, right? And it's originating from right here, so, right, uh, right? So it's originating from right here. Feel this right here, and that's your radius. Right, that's your radius right there. You can feel it. So wait, wait. That's your epicondyle of the uh, the humerus right here. Okay, so that's your epicondyle, and that's where it's kind of coming out and rolling down the back of the hand. Oh yeah, I touch myself all day. All right, so we're gonna smooth that out. And we're going to make sure that it's diving down deep in there, right? We really want to get pretty much to the bone right here. And what that's going to do... Uh, oh, that's a reason. Oh, that's right. We're on the wrong side. Oh, wow. We're still on the same point.
Family friendly show. Fran, family friendly show. Okay, family friendly show. Okay, you gotta wrap it up. It's right that you ain't got enough money to see that. I mean, frankly, it doesn't put it that way, okay? So, we got this, it's going over, right there, smooth, 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 okay? Right here, smooth, smooth, smooth. Right here, make sure this is digging around there. And what I need to do is I really need to ex um, define this olecranon, okay? So this is your elbow. And we really need to kind of bring things together because your tricep is falling into your olecranon. And then your uh, brachial radialis is coming up from here. Right there, okay. And that's going to create this boom coming out, right? And then your epicondyle is going to be right here. Let's get the... Uh, this is a gi, dude. We're in the dojo. <laughs> right? We're in the dojo right now. Okay. <sighs> All right. Ole Chrono. What's going on, Des? Welcome. I appreciate that. Who followed me? White T Poison 1325. Thank you very much. Aussie Healer. Thank you again. Uh, yeah. All right. So, here we're going to get our inflate brush. And remember, it's coming from the medial epicondyle. Right there. So there we go. All right, we're gonna bring this back. We're going to uh, mirror and weld this. All right, so uh, now what we need to do is we need to raise this armpit up. Gotta have that symmetry though. That symmetry though. <laughs> that symmetry though. Alrighty, so we're going up here, we're going up there. Boom. I know. I know you're, look. Please stop telling me you're impressed. It's like, it's like I know. I know, I'm impressed. No belt, what are you talking about? This belt right here. It's a black one. All right, it's a black belt. It's so black it absorbs light. That's how efficient. All right. I've actually been registered as a lethal weapon in three different Texas counties. All righty. So right here is where our uh, deltoid is going to come into play. It's going to come under play. All right. So it originates right where this is curving around, okay? Coming around, and it's right here, okay? It's not all the way over here. It's not super, super big. It's not... Benjamin Andres Gonzalez Acevedo. Thank you very much, okay? So it's originating here and going down halfway, okay? Here, most of the muscle for the deltoid is gonna be here, and then it becomes an aponeurosis. So it's not really going to create that much form anymore. All right, so it's gonna come around, smooth, smooth, smooth. After that, it's just gonna go into the um, uh, end of the spine of the scapula, and it's going to be um, ba -ba 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 -bo -bo muscle and then aponeurosis, okay? Your tricep is this medial head right here, the long head, which is this one right here. This one is going into the side right there. So you're just gonna make sure that that trajectory is going up into this little nook right here, okay? And then uh, we're gonna wrap, woo, we're gonna wrap this tricep around and it's gonna go into, uh, or actually around our olecranon. Oh, thanks, Julie. Yeah, that's, woo, it is like, um, coming from, I've been in collectibles a long time. 
and then going back to game and then having to like I am a pose I am a and it has to stay there the whole time I just want to I just want to pose it up and then like sculpt it again so badly but I'm gonna make it I'm gonna make it I'm gonna make it okay all right so right here coming around the olacronin okay so when you bend your elbow this tendon is right here it's wrapping around your elbow right so when i do this i'm pulling the aponeurosis of my triceps and it's becoming smaller right so when i pull on aponeurosis the muscle becomes smaller and then whenever i extend my arm woo, okay then that's where your triceps gonna be the largest, right? Because the tendon has now been relaxed and now it can puff up. Uh, Julie, I know what you mean, but I've been doing 3D printing and sculpture toy stuff for so long that I miss the gaming and animation side. Oh. Yeah. I love, I love anything. It doesn't matter. As long as I'm sculpting a character, I am not complaining at all. I am just so thankful for the opportunity to even be asked. I would say that's probably the best thing. It's like one of the greatest aspects to have as an artist is gratitude by far. Thank you for giving me this opportunity. Thank you for teaching me. Thank you for your time. Appreciate, appreciate, gratitude, gratitude, humility. In art, okay? But if you're, you know, obviously here in the dojo, we're highly confident, okay? We're not humble in the dojo, all right? Because we're all lethal weapons, okay? So we know that. So we're just thoroughly confident about that. But when you're working in a studio and you're not in the dojo, humility, gratitude, and self-awareness is one of the best things that you can have. All right, so deltoid, 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 doo -doo -doo. Okay, so pretty much got the upper body, and now what we need to do is bring in the heads of the pectoralis. Watch! Because I see so many pecs sculpted wrong, like the striations are going all over the place, and it's lumpy here, small here. I'm sick of it! So pay attention. <sighs> okay. So we have the clavicular head here. Right? Why is it called the clavicular head? Because it's attached to the clavicle. Okay? So we got that there going down where the shoulder is ending. Going in that trajectory. So if I see pecs going into the armpit one more time, I'm going to point at you through my screen and you're gonna be like, wait, someone, I feel like someone's pointing at me right now and you're gonna be looking around and it's gonna be me pointing at you. Okay. Boom, 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 boom. Right there, okay. So we're gonna, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna ecorche this for you, boom, right? So that's the clavicular head. Why is it called the clavicular head? Because it's attached to the clavicle, okay? Right here is the second head we're going to be sculpting, which is the, what is this called? It's called the sternum. So we're gonna call it the Sternal head, yeah, now we're getting it. Okay, so now we've got this coming into pretty much the same place, probably like right here. And then coming over. Okay, boom, 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 boom. 
and it's going to be right there. I'm gonna echo shape for you. Just chill out. Right there and right here. So this is the sternal head. The sternal head. Next is a thoracic head. That's gonna be, it's not gonna be that deep, but right here, and that's going to attach to the fifth rib right here. And again, it's going over the bicep and attaching on the outside of the humerus. So whenever we do this, we're stretching our pec over our rib cage, so you shouldn't have a bunch of bulkiness in there. Ed Barta, we gotta have rules in a dojo, okay? I hope you did your 25 push-ups and squats before you came in. I, I hope all of you did. I know I didn't. <coughs> What'd you say, Nightbot? All right. So, next is going to be the abs. Well, let's go with the obliques, because I see y'all sculpting this questionably as well, okay? So, um, where your obliques are coming from is 12, 11, 10, 9, okay? So, what you're doing is just uh, going here, 12, 11, 10, 9, so it's gonna come out and it's going to go around the hip and it's going to expose your anterior, meaning front, posterior is back, 50 knuckle push-ups, yes! That's what I'm talking about, all right? So it's going to expose this, uh, oops. Oh, okay, all right, I'm gonna press all the buttons. It's gonna expose this anterior superior iliac spine, meaning the front right here this is going to be peeking out go to instagram right now find someone that's wearing tape as a bikini and you will see these bony landmarks okay they're the same for male and female okay it's gonna go over slightly just a little bit right there okay and it's uh wrapping around so one reason that i always use rib cage or the skeleton it's because people love rib cages, man. They love seeing rib cages. Like if you can sculpt a rib cage, people will, oh my God, you're a master. But really all you did was just use a skeleton. But I, shh, don't tell anyone. Don't tell anyone, okay? Sumerian King, uh, I wear tape as a bikini on my Instagram. Link it up. Link it up. We're gonna show everyone at ZBrush Live. All right, so right here. Boom, bringing this over. Making sure that we're with the rib cage, not against it. Okay, smooth that down. And then we're gonna get our abs. Oh yeah, the armpit portion, yeah. Just use a skeleton. It'll, it'll do it for you. All right, so there is a six pack and then a keg, right? But the six pack is not your abs. You only have four abs and then a larger one at the bottom, right? A four pack and a bucket of chicken, whatever you want to call it, right? Bucket of pudding, whatever you want to call it, right there underneath it, okay? So your false abs, which are the ones right underneath your rib cage, which I see these sculpted wrong all the time. Okay, they attach. All right. Okay, yeah, we can play this. Up to the sky, everybody! It's 
All right, so false abs. Start from the fifth rib, all right? And come down over like this and around and like that, okay? These are false abs. These are not true abs. Your true abs are gonna start after that. These false abs that everybody usually sculpts wrong and adds to every single one of their sculpts for some reason, because it's genetically determined. So you can do as many crunches as you want and you'll never get those false abs, okay? So, it shouldn't be on everyone you're freaking sculpting, okay? Be a little bit more, you know, just sometimes people just got a four pack and a cake, okay? So just sculpt it like that, all right? Now everybody's got an eight pack. All right, so we got something. That's getting into, getting into some Other songs go to EDM. Dun, dun, dun. All right. So these are your true abs and then uh, your keg right here. All right. Most of the meat's going to be in between. Oop, that's a little bit too loud. Uh, that's It's going to be in between your posterior, or I'm sorry, your anterior iliac spine, right? So just right there usually where most of the meat is going to be. Smooth it out. Do, do, do. Right here. Right there, you got your serratus in here. Serratus, serratus, all that good stuff. All right. Um, let's go to the back a bit. Uh, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, so here, that's fine. Right there, we need to have the, so your uh, lateral head of your tricep is like an egg, right here. A lot of things on the body are actually simplified into egg shapes, now that I think about it. But here, coming in, going around the elbow, going right here, uh, so your, oops, so your, um, let's talk about the inside of the arm. That's where a lot of people have a lot of issue going on. So uh, with that, you're going to, again, is coming from here, this little jaunt. Let me turn transparency on. So from right here is where your lateral head is attaching to, okay? And so this is gonna be the second head of the tricep right here, and then the third is gonna be right there and going around the holocronin. Okay, right around there. Okay, straight down, coming over. You should have a very asymmetrical aponeurosis here. I'll also see the peaks of these are at a 45 degree angle, all right? It's not gonna be like that for everybody, but you definitely don't want cartoon chicken, all right? And what I mean by that is that it's uh, wide at the same spot right peeking at the same spot and then it just looks like a cartoon chicken leg okay so you want to make sure that throughout the body you have this type of dynamic nature you can't just have everything straight across from each other and straight lines and all that that's not what makes your sculpture interesting right you need to have uh you don't need to i mean you can just be an okay sculptor if you want but um you know if you want to represent anatomy correctly you need to have all these uh subtleties in here you need to know that where muscle is you're actually going to sculpt muscle where there's going to be tendon you're going to treat it as such and you're going to treat those areas a little bit more hard surface in nature okay um dun, 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 dun. duke pablo 30 ah 20 seconds in 20 seconds in and he already left He'll never know how great the dojo truly is in all the dojo warriors. Ew, this song is horrible. Ugh. No. Alright, so we're going to just bring that down. So you see how that's going? Right? It's not all the way up here. We don't have this huge bump in the back. Right? It's flowing along with the rib cage, right? We don't have this flat back going on. 
or anything like that, okay? All right, let's bring that around. Then your serratus right here is going to, roughly for this guy, it's not going to be that pronounced. He's not some bodybuilder, he's just a normal guy. Okay, um, let's bring this lat a little bit more so it's a little bit more of a background element. Right, just a little bit there. And then we're, you see how this is really far off the rib cage right there. So we want to make sure that we've got that going. Oh, he's still here. Pablo's still here. Way to go, dude. Way to stick around. Michael Watt, thank you very much for the Instagram follow. Okay, so basically that's usually how I block things out, right? It's very easy. Very easy to use the skeleton. Look at this. When did we start this? Like 45 minutes ago? Welcome to this. <laughs> right on time. Right on time, Julie's art. Right on time. All right. That was perfect timing, by the way. I finished my sentence and boom, he came in with a follow. All right, so again, for all of you who have just came in to the ZB Ho Dojo, thank you for coming here. I want to, uh, don't leave! Big news, if you just got here, big news, okay? Tomorrow at 8.30 p.m. Central Standard Time, Myself, the creative director of XMD Academy, am giving away my $800 course. Oh, okay, what, okay. Come on, guy, you're making me look bad. All right, where is it? All right, so $800 course. You're gonna get it for free. All right, well, not, maybe you will, we'll see. Tomorrow on my stream at shotgunscream.com. I'm giving away. Well, I'm going to give you the rules and quests. And at the, not this Monday, but the Monday after, we're going to have a big old show. And we're going to be announcing the winner of the XMD Scholarship Part 2. $800 course. Why is it $800? I would never pay that. Yeah, you would. Because what you just saw today is literally 45 minutes of 100 hours of videos. Okay? So, I'm giving away a free seat. You're going to have six sessions with me. Ooh. And we're going to go over the mug. We're gonna go over setting up, uh, blocking out your character. Tamakochi, thank you very much. Right, we're gonna go over the upper body, all this stuff, all this lecture that I gave you is just more and 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 more. Over a hundred videos, over a hundred hours of creating characters for collectibles. That's why it's $800. I can't believe you asked that. All right, so tomorrow, 8.30 p.m. Central Standard Time, I'm going to announce the quests and rules for you to participate and win this scholarship. All right? And I'm feeling kind of, I'm feeling kind of lucky right now. I'm feeling generous right now. So what I'm gonna do, right this second, right this second, Julie, thank you very much. You might wanna stick around for another like two minutes, Julie. Just saying. I'm going to give away right now the on-demand. 
So you don't get it with me, right? We don't have one-on-one. -on -one. But you do get access to all of these videos. So you can level your own ass up. If you're serious. If you're serious about it. All right? So I'm going to give away right now an on-demand free seat. Okay? But what I need... You know what I need. You know what I need, chat. What do I need? What do I need, chat? I need a hashtag Z B Ho Dojo in the chat. Z B Ho Dojo. Hashtag Z B Ho Dojo in the chat. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Okay? That's what. Oh, now we're getting some. Oh, look at all the ZBO dojos now. Look at them now. Look at them rolling in. All right. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. So, I'm going to try to think of a, of a question. I'm going to try to think of a question. And it's got to be correct. You got to use the sculptural medical terms. I don't know. All these CB Ho dojos are helping me. They're helping me. Okay. <clears throat> Where? Make sure you get this. Make sure you got it. Make sure you got your fingers on the keyboard. Make sure you get your fingers on the keyboard, because here we go. Here we go. What is... Oh, I forgot my question. Ah! Why? I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. Put your fingers on the keyboard. Fingers on the keyboard. Where does the trapezius originate? from behind your head. What is the correct name for the origination of the trapezius on the back of your head? Write it down in the chat right now. Nick, <laughs> come on, man, Nick. <laughs> come on. Oh my gosh, that was hilarious. Oh, you're close, Buke. You're close. No. Mm -mm -mm. Titan, you are not allowed to participate, Titan. How dare you? Titan's already a student kicking ass. No. No, Julie's Art, you're close. You're close. You got one of the words right. No. No. Again, you've got the first word right. Charlie and Julie and Buke all said the first word right. Oh my god! One wing! One wing! That's what I'm talking about. Everybody, give it up for one wing external occipital protuberance. Yeah! Wow! GG one wing. Everybody give one wing a GG right now. Everybody give it to him. Everybody give it to him. All right. So I need you. Here, I'm going to get a notepad. All right. Okay. So I need you to email. That's well, not big enough. Oh, well. I need you to email me at spicer.mcleroy at xmdacademy.com. All right. I need you to email me there, one wing. One wing. All right, Julie. Thank you very much. Have a great night and congratulations on all your great work. Spicer.mcleroy at xmdacademy.com. You need to send me an email there and you need to title it with external occipital protuberance. Okay. And I will get you a 
seat for an on-demand live. All right. Okay. Oh, one more giveaway. Come to my stream tomorrow, 8.30 p.m. Central Standard Time. I'm going to give you the rules and regulations. Right there. There's a link. Go there. Follow me on Twitch. Uh, bookmark that page. Thank you, Matt. I appreciate you. Uh, we will be announcing the winners there. and We will have the full quests and rules there as well. Okay. Alrighty. So before we call it a night, we must enter the sanctum of Scott E. Aiton. Well. What an excellent stream yet again. What an excellent stream. Thank you, ZBrush Live, for having me back. I really, really love this community. I appreciate everyone that is here. You make me feel great. You make me feel great. You make me feel like not, not many parts, but I feel... As if I'm one. One. Oh.